Hey guys, welcome back. In the last video, we took a look at the Valvrave Hikaminari. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the fifth kit in the Valvrave line. This one is the Hiuchiba, and this is in blue and black instead of yellow and black. And this one also has a bunch of really cool effect parts and everything, so I'm really looking forward to checking this one out as well. So again, if you missed my previous video showing the Hikaminari Valvrave review, go back and check that out. I'm excited to finally be taking a look at both of these cool new Valvrave kits. Well, they're not new, new for me, but these are once again back from 2013 is when these originally came out from Bandai. So let's go ahead and take a look around the outside of the box here first. The front of the box here is showing some really cool like beam effects coming out of his this thing on his hand which looks sort of like a crossbow, sort of like the peacock smasher of the crossbone sort of, and it's got all these beams coming out of there. On the ends of the box there you can just see that this is a 144 scale. This is the fifth kit in the line of Valvrave 5. Hiuchiba. And on the bottom of the box here, you can get a look at those effect parts. The effect parts, honestly, I mean, not looking quite as impressive as it looks like on the box art, but you know, they did what they can with it. So we'll see how that actually looks uh, in use, but that part opens up. You also, once again, have the 144 scale pilot figure included. You have some different hand options, just kind of showing off the molding of those parts that go inside the effect parts on the shield, which look pretty interesting as well too. So those look pretty cool. And just a big front and back rear, front and rear view of what the kit looks like when it's all built and painted up, looking very cool. And around on the top of the box then, some more about the story. Once again, we got some stills from the anime there, and then a little bit about the pilot, showing him in his pilot uniform and in just standard clothes there. And then some more about the Valvrave 5 here. So you got some illustrations showing that front and back, and then it's kind of weapon unit that's attached onto the arm. And then you can see the list price for this one is 3,500 yen, so slightly more than the Hikaminari, which was 3,000, this one 3,500. All right, let's get old Big Blue popped open here and see what we got. Looks like we got, once again, a massive sticker sheet and nine bags of runners and then our base for this as well as our instruction manual here as well. So once again, the manual is not in color or anything, so there's not a whole lot really to look at here. You do have the parts list here on the front, and it looks like once again we are going to have a handful of leftover parts from those first few runners, which are just kind of like the generic Valvary runners. The later runners are the ones that are specific to the different models, I guess. So uh, you can see you will have a few leftover parts, and that's just all construction of the kit. The last few pages here, the last kind of bit of this fold-out section is just going to be going over the kind of last of the equipment, then how to equip the effect parts and things like that. And that's pretty much it. So let's just go ahead and move on right into the runners then. So once again, we've got an absolutely gigantic sticker sheet of tons of white and blue striping bits around on this kit. This is going to take quite a while. PC-001 for our polycaps, once again in gray. And then runner BA-11 for our base, also in gray. Runner A1 here is in black, and then we also have a copy of this section up here for runner A2. And once again, no runner B, but we do have runner C here for some very nice detailed parts for the hands and other kind of joint sort of frame or frame sort of parts here. And we also have runner C2, which is a copy of this portion of the runner up here. Runner E1 here, we can start getting to some of our blue parts for the kit. Then we do also have runner E2, which is a copy of these couple of parts over here. Runner F, just a few parts here in white. And then jumping ahead to runner P here for a couple of parts in a clear light blue. Runner Q3 is a few new white parts here. And runner Q4 is our runner of fluorescent clear green parts for this kit. Runner R is some new blue parts, including our little pilot figure over there as well. We also have runner R2 for a copy of this half of the runner. Runner S1 is some more new parts in black. And runner S2 is our effect parts for the weapon there also. This is in a clear yellowish green color. And just for a comparison between the two to show you guys that they're not the same, Q4 is in much more green and S2 here is a much more yellow kind of color. Runner T is our clear shield part in like a clear orangish kind of color. We've got two of these. And lastly, runner U1 is some more parts in gray for our new shoulder equipment. So we've got runner U2 as well for a copy of all the runner there, except for a couple parts on the side. So once again, this looks like it's going to be a very interesting build. So I can't wait to get it all together, see how it's looking. Until then, guys, hang tight, and then we'll begin the review in just a moment. All right, here it is all together. And once again, just like with the Valve Rave 3, this one is coated with a bunch of stickers, loads of stickers on here. So we'll just get this out of the way first, mentioning that yes, there's a ton of stickers on here. And so it's just something you're gonna have to deal with if you are planning on painting it up in the official color scheme, you're going for a ton of masking 
but overall the kit is still going to be very nice aside from that very very little seam lines some nice detail around on there and some pretty cool effect parts as well with this one also so we're gonna get into it with all of that we're gonna quickly go through here some of the articulation first but it's mostly gonna be kind of the same of what we saw in the Valve Rave 3. So we'll just focus on what's new about this kit. The actual arms and legs are exactly the same. The torso is a little bit different, basically in that it's got two parts here on the front that will move up and down, whereas the Valve Rave 3 only had one, so those just move a little bit. Here on the front, it does actually have a set of front skirts on here, which are also movable on there like that. Around here on the back, it's got a little bit of a butt flap to cover that up also. That's a little new addition on there. But otherwise, the rest of the articulation is the same. I guess we do also have these parts here on the side of the arm, which will open up as kind of our weapon there. So we'll see more about those in use here in a little bit. Obviously, the big new addition is gonna be these massive parts here, the big shields on the side of the arm. And so this whole shoulder section will lift up like that, and you've got just kind of the basic shoulders down underneath there. That part will move a little bit, so this whole section opens up. And then the shield is actually connected on a joint there at the end of there, so that'll move in and out like that a little bit. This part here on the top can also move a little bit, so if you, like, you have this angled out, then you can close that back down, something like that. So this all moves pretty well. You know, you can move this around for doing some different uh, blocking poses. I noticed one thing that's kind of interesting is that this is like a very defensive suit, whereas the Valve Rave 3 is a very offensive suit, so the pair that I chose to get are actually a pretty good set between the two of them, one offensive and one defensive. But on the shields themselves, I mean, yeah, they look pretty cool, I like the gray piece up underneath there uh, for like the frame of this big massive clear shield, pretty cool looking. This one as well, do, though I do kind of have the same hesitation about the head design that I had with the Valve Rave 3 in that it's kind of like big and alien looking in there, which I mean, it's obviously it's supposed to look unique it's a sci-fi mecha thing here of course but it's a little bit too i don't know alien looking strange sort of looking head on this one but the clear But the clear parts do, but the clear, but the clear green parts do once again look really nice and catch the light really nicely for being really nice and bright there on the head. So it's a pretty cool look there for that. And so I do like that. As for the option parts we have with this, we've got two closed fists and then one open hand for the left hand. And among your leftover parts not used for this kit are a set of holding hands as well, which aren't for anything with this kit. But if you did want to use these or give these to a different kit or something, you do have this set of holding hands as well. We've got our very small but very nicely detailed little pilot figure here. And then our really bright fluorescent yellowish green effect parts for those weapons on the side of the arm. So these just plug onto the top of there, pretty straightforward and opened up. It's gonna look like that. So pretty interesting, and it's kind of weird that they're pointed like out at an angle. I kind of wish that this opened up a little bit more so that it looks like they're more both pointing straight on, but I guess it's meant to be to sort of like a, a spray effect with this weapon anyway. It's supposed to cover a wide range. So that's pretty cool. I mean, you got uh, sets for those for both sides, so it's gonna be pretty impressive. The thing is just with this massive shield and everything, you're a little bit hindered in like to where you can really move the arm, but I guess you should be able to get it out at least to a degree so that those can pose and look pretty cool. And we've also just got the base here, and once again, this one just has this connection that will give you an option of just having this pointed straight up or either at a forward or backward 45 degree angle. So if you wanted it like lunging forward or something like that, you can change the angle on this base a little bit. So it's a nice to that that's included anyway. And a couple of the leftover parts that I want to mention here is that if you didn't want to have this weapon on the arm, you can see it's got this hard point there for plugging it on. You do also have the same part here without that connection point on there. So if instead of just like, if you didn't want to have that weapon on there, you could just cut that off. But if you didn't want to do that, you could just use this different piece for that instead. You got both of those for the left and right side. And then you've got this set of scabbards. Now, if you remember from the Valve Rave 3, we had these leftover parts, which are the clear katana parts. So if you have both of these kits, in the one set, you've got leftover parts of these clear katanas. In this set, you've got leftover parts of these left, just uh, sword scabbards. And so you can use these together. And then you've got your set of clear katanas 
and scabbards that fit into there just like that very nicely. And then you could use these for, you know, whatever custom build or something that you want. Now these are meant to plug on to somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where these are meant to plug on to. So I'm not sure how you would you be able to use them with this kit if you wanted to, but you can certainly use these with other different custom builds, scratch builds or something like that. So definitely hang on to these leftover parts. But all right, so yeah, here's the two kits together and I definitely really like the pair of these. Now I think there's three or four other kits in the line. None of them really are that attractive to me. I don't really see myself getting any of the ones. Maybe the, the first one in the line, the Valve Rave one, is kind of all right. Maybe someday in the future I'll pick that one up as well. But I think these two make for a really good set between the two of them. So really glad that I finally got around to building these, checking these kits out. Hopefully this has been interesting for any of you guys who are maybe unaware that these kits even existed or maybe didn't really have a lot of information about them. Hopefully these reviews have been good for you guys to find a little find out a little bit more about what these kits are like and I can definitely say I would highly recommend them to you guys they're pretty great kits you know obviously the main downfall is just going to be all the stickers but aside from that there's really not much to complain about with these they come with some cool effect parts the articulation is pretty good the detail is pretty good pretty minimal in the way of seam lines this one's got a couple of big ones on the top of those massive shoulder parts but that's really kind of gonna be about it for the most part that said, between the two, I do definitely prefer the Valve Rave 3 over this one. This one, I just don't really find to be quite as poseable in the various poses that you can do with it. I think with the big massive arms on the Valve Rave 3, it was a lot more fun to do all sorts of different crazy poses. With these big shields on, on the shoulders, I mean, there's not really a lot that you can do with them. They look cool in a few poses, but it's a little bit more limited in the posing options compared to Valve Rave 3. So, I mean, it's just something to consider, but this one definitely still is very cool. If you guys do have any other further questions or comments about it though, of course, do feel free to ask down in the comment section below. And again, as always guys, big thank you to the Gundam store for making it all possible. Check the link to the site and the coupon code that you guys can use down in the video description below. And thank you to you guys all watching the video as well for your support, whether it be liking, commenting, subscribing, all that's greatly appreciated. Until next time guys, hope you all have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye bye.